today. <laughs> Fuck that. Speed ramp. Okay, I'm here with the one and only Lightspeed. Hi. <laughs> Wyatt Dobson, filmer, editor. Basically, we're gonna go over how we edit a video. It's gonna be a big overview. So the video we're gonna be going over today is the skinny dipping in Alaska video. Skinny dipping with strangers. Today I'm going to convince some strangers to go skinny. <laughs> it's like not playing. Chris, get off my screen. Dude, my computer be bugging. It's bugging. We're having some technical difficulties. You just closed the project. Oh fuck. Oh my bad, I was trying to close that side of it. My bad. <laughs> we're trying to teach how to edit. We're, we're like lost in the fucking program. How the hell do you do this? Guys, take a look at this beautiful timeline we have right below our faces. This is what a decade of filmmaking and editing has brought us to. Today I'm going to convince some strangers to go skinny dipping with me. Boom! You see that? Reel the viewer in, nice little speed ramp. That's usually my grabber, right in the beginning, something quick. Got title text, there's a lot happening. Today, I'm surprising skinny dippers. I don't know what the hell I said. <laughs> I'm surprising skinny dippers. What are you surprising them with? Content. You'll notice also in this intro, all the clips are super fast cut. That's just a rule of thumb for intros to be really high paced, entertaining, because no one has attention spans nowadays because of TikTok. I'm curious if you think I could find strangers in Alaska that'll go skinny dipping with me. I don't see why not. <laughs> Great uh, use of like the music cutting out. You can cut out music pretty much to emphasize either something that's funny or you know, maybe something that's more dramatic. Or if this time of year, Alaska has all day sun. But we're going skinny dipping! And we only have about 24 hours to pull this off because we are only camping one night near a lake. I think what's really important about this part, which is still the intro, is what I'm saying in the narration. I'm not just narrating to narrate. I'm trying to build this story. You know, give the viewers the how, the why, the what. Which basically gives the viewers the impression that, okay, there is a very high chance that this isn't possible, which is very entertaining to watch when something is almost against all odds. Oh, we can't do this, Kelly. Kelly, we can't do it. No, stop. This is actually so fun. <laughs> I have a genuine question. Do you want to go skinny dipping with me? This is a great example of where I'll just put some random lifestyle clips and then back into the story because you want the viewer to have this roller coaster. If this is a graph, you want it to be like this, but all still going towards like a goal, oh. you know, and <laughs> The music choice. Music choice is really huge in videos. It helps, you know, tell the story. It helps give the viewer emotion and kind of tell them what they should be feeling. At least with Kelly's videos, what I try to do is I try to pick a central theme or like genre of music if I can. Same genre throughout the entire video. It helps it be very cohesive. For this one, you'll notice throughout there's kind of rock music and it's kind of building to to you know the ultimate climax. Simple. Simple. And also with the montages, montages help really keep pacing. You'll see a lot of times it'll go from raw clips, basically of us goofing around to montage to raw clips. It's kind of like a constant theme, just so it keeps the viewers engaged. If you look at our entire timeline, you can even see on the bottom all the audio and it's almost evenly spaced out. And that's not on purpose, so it keeps like consistent pace and it allows the viewer just like to follow along really easily. Uh, wow, dude, look how pretty it is. Wow, this is super sick. And we weren't gonna camp here. This is a great example of when we had A roll with, with my audio, but the B roll didn't really match well. The best <coughs> clip me walking through was probably later or was. earlier or something like that. So we took that clip and put it over the audio just so it matches better. It's a better shot. What it really looks like in real life would be a clip of me going, wow, look at these mountains, and then a B-roll clip, and instead you combine it so it's like the most efficient as well. Use the best clips for your story. Just because it's in front of you doesn't mean that you have to use it. You can change things around and piece it together. So even if something happens way later in the video, but it would make more sense to happen right here, cut it in right here. I'm looking for some brave souls to go skinny dipping with me. Oh no, not me. We're probably not the one. This is a great example of where editing is killer because I asked these people the same question, but there's no point in putting the same question because it would be super repetitive. So what we did was I let the one question be asked. We cut in just the responses. So it's like way more satisfying. We're trying to go skinny dipping with a stranger. What do you think? Well, uh, I can tell you a couple lakes. We zoom in on her face because it's all really about her and she's giving expression. I notice a lot of people just cut in just to cut in. You have to cut in at the right time when it's an expression, if it's a joke. You'll notice a lot of times we'll have punched in and then punched out or vice versa when a joke has been told and then it starts laughing in the, the moment and then out. It's almost like a feeling. It's, it's feeling, yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I think we had 10 minutes of footage of this dude messing around on these skates. Yeah, I yeah. cut it all and just put this one clip in. You know, sometimes we'll use B-roll for montages, but Kelly oftentimes likes A-roll with audio. Both of these shots right here. Can you help anything? That, both of those were segments in of itself in this grocery store that we just yeah. put into a montage. This video was, you said four hours, right? Four hours of footage. The end product is nine minutes. Nine minutes, four hours of footage. Yeah. Got that shit. <laughs> Cut it. Got that shit. Skinny dipping! Skinny dipping! Skinny dipping! Live a little! Skinny dipping! Skinny dipping for free! Skinny dipping! Skinny dipping! I love you! Oh. Skinny dipping! It's 10 p.m. right now. Look how bright it is outside, 10 p.m. I was desperately looking for a brave soul. Skinny dipping! Skinny dipping? You down? Can you read it? Totally. Free skinny dipping! For that montage right there, back to like talking about music, what I did is I found a song that starts kind of slow and then picks up dramatically. And what I did is I used Kelly's, you know, different asking people to go skinny dipping. I used them in correlation with the music. So once it got more dramatic, it was louder. It almost ascended like a like an orchestra. What I tried to do with it is make it feel like desperation. I was trying to make it feel, you know, we were really looking for someone. Yeah, a lot of times, We'll shoot a video and we shoot the ending a little too early. Not maybe too early, but we need more footage in the video. We went a separate day. like So like half of these shots, we actually had already shot the skinny dipping part. But we needed more reactions and stuff, so we just went around and asked some people. Yeah, and um, I don't feel bad about it. We're here back at the campsite. Hopefully she comes. Otherwise, there's a lot of other candidates around here, so I'm still optimistic. This is great right here. We have a little transition. <laughs> And I think that's a great example that you don't always need music to transition someplace. This is just two nice B-roll shots, a little bit of sound designs. Yeah, I wanted it to kind of transition back into the forest. So I used forest. I also used a ticking clock sound effect because in this scene, it feels like time is running out. So I wanted to have that you know, emphasize where it's like, okay, well, we don't have much more time to pull this off. You guys just don't understand editing. The little intricacies that people take for granted, you would probably watch this video and be like, wow, I never even thought of that. We put ticking sounds to make it sound like time is running out. You better just appreciate this, okay? <laughs> We're not just influencers. <laughs> this is art, okay? Bro, that would be like perfect timing. If this is her, that'd be so funny. That would actually be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Sometimes you need a little luck. I mean, this story was literally one of the luckiest days of my life. Another thing right there was sound design. I put a heartbeat sound effect and I also put crescendo as well. It's good because these two characters, Anne-Marie and Krish, in this moment, what they're feeling is obviously pressure because they don't want to go skinny dipping. So how do you convey that? I found the best way to be for sound. So this is just the sound design for this moment. I mean, it's just subtle things that really go a long way. Sound design is a very important part, and I think it's often overlooked. It can go a long way in helping convey an emotion. All right, we're about to do the jump. This is insane. I love it. Two things. One, I like this moment specifically with Kelly holding this other camera that we have. I feel like it's a, it's a great character moment for him. It's good to cut these in because I feel like it makes you feel like you're there in the moment with him and feeling the emotion he's feeling. It's an intimate moment. When you hold the camera, mm -hmm. it's like you're talking straight to someone's soul. Yeah. Like, look how if I'm close like this <laughs> and I just, I love you. This music also is so perfect for this moment because it's like this suspenseful, hopeful music. Listen to this, guys. Listen. Listen it's to this, really guys. Cold it's out all here. building. Like, you see a little something, something. It's because it's cold, okay? Body heat, body heat, body heat. We'll do this in the water. We'll okay? do this in the water. I came here to do something that I've never done before. I cannot believe we're doing this. And I did just that. Three, two, one. And so this is the climax of the video. So literally, it's all just like leading up. And then boom, it's like this great moment. I always like at the end of the videos to have like powerful songs. Maybe if we get 10,000 likes on this video, we will get the uncensored version. But trust, trust me, you guys don't want it. I had to stare at this for like four hours of Kelly's bare ass. It's not so. bare too, it's a forest, man. Yeah, That's it just... is a forest. Shave, bro. What? <laughs> oh, I feel like that'd be prickly. <laughs> no offense. That's how to create a Killer with Costa video. It might have been a little overwhelming for you guys. It's not for us. It's actually really easy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Do it excites. And I love you.